Hi, I'm RK here and welcome to my channel in the year 2025. It's time to start with a new video, this time a little bit quicker, uh, but maybe not if I will talk too much. We'll see. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't suspect it will be too long, but let's, uh, let's get started then. Uh, what am I talking about? Timelines. Uh, timelines, we love timelines for the most part. Uh, we use them a lot, probably, uh, because it's a very simple way to sort of, uh, you know, use a curve and interpolate it, right? This is what the curve does. And usually, when we make a curve, uh, well, when we make a timeline, then we have a actor right any any kind of actor and in that actor we just do add timeline and it adds a nice timeline component to our actor we can enter it make a track a float curve whatever uh, like a vector a linear color curve and and so on and then we have an update function we have a finished function and uh, it's lovely right but now you want to make a component and that component will be an actor component it will be called timeline funk and in that component you would like to use a timeline as well like let's say we have a static mesh maybe it's a cube let's add a cube and that cube well we would like it to sort of run up and down or just up but you know in a nice curve maybe we have a, a train or something we wanted to, to run on tracks whatever and uh, in that component so you search for a timeline and there is nothing there I mean you can cast to a timeline but there is no add timeline component so why is that uh, Actually, I don't know, but uh, it's not like the component can't use a timeline component because um, you can still add a timeline component by just doing construct and uh, construct object from class and pick a timeline here. And from that timeline, well, you can't really use an editor for that uh, for the timeline but you can use anything that you want from that reference right so if you wanted to make a, an update function then you'll just type post update function and you make a, a new event and that's your function right update function and if you want finished, then you just type finished and this is your finished function, right? Whatever we had here, we have here. If you want to start the timeline, just start, right? Play, play from start, this is it. And of course, there is no timeline without a track. So how do we add a track? We make add interp float or linear curve or vector or yeah, th those three, basically. And there is also an event, if you could see here, add event track, and that also is available here, right? Lovely. Uh, so that interp float uh, is basically, uh, well, actually, this is post update. So this is kind of an update event, right? Because post update is after the update finished. Uh, so so that would be your update event and in that you have a float curve which is an object reference but you can you know search through curve assets and pick whatever you want I think that the float curve asset is just you know from 0 to 1 and it's automatically uh, key interpolated so it's nice and easy uh, but this is not the only way to make a timeline because I mean this is how you use the timeline you, you you know in the component but what is actually a timeline the timeline is an event and a curve 
well, timer and the curve. And we can already do that from basic elements, right? So let's set timer by event. And that event, this will be finished. Fact, right? This is the duration of our timeline. We, if we want it to last a second, then it's a second. And um, how about the curve? Well, the track, we do that by, I think it's the easiest to just uh, type runtime curve and find that function, get runtime float curve value. It will just take a curve struct, not an object, uh, object reference, a struct, and it will just, you know, take time, take default value in, in case something goes wrong, and, you know, if, output an interpolated value, as easy as that. And how do, how do we make a curve? Well, I just promote to variable, and that curve is your curve. You can make edits here, but the curve you edit here is not actually gonna be working because you still need an asset. This is just an editor. Uh, so uh, to make a curve and save that curve, well, you make a curve first. Uh, let's make it a standard curve from zero to one. Let's interpolate the key to auto. And uh, you just create external curve and uh, save it wh wherever you want. And it just supplies. If you want to edit it, well, I mean, you have a whole curve editor right here. So it's, it's not really hard. And uh, now you need an update function because this is just finished. And this is your interpolation of the curve, but you still need an update, right? Because something must happen constantly when you are interpolating, not only on the end, because it's kind of misses the point of the timeline. So we can do it two ways. We can use an event tick, which is, you know, kind of standard, but it's also tied to frame rate. So you might not want to use this. And the second way is to just uh, setting a second timer. So set timer by event, and that event will be our update func. Funny, I mean funky. Uh, this has to start at the same time. So whenever you start the, the timeline, then you have to also start the, the update function. And uh, yeah, on that update, you just use this value and uh, do whatever you want. So we have to kind of uh, think about what we want to do. And maybe for our timeline function, let's just do very something very simple. We want that cube to move up and then stop, right? So uh, on begin play, let's just get that cube, uh, get owner. Actually, get owner is pure, so without exec. And uh, let's save it. This will be our owner. And our owner has some kind of location, right? So get actor location. And let's save it as well. Lovely. And after we do that, I mean, for testing purposes, Let's just on begin play, run our timeline timeline as well. Uh, kind of Irish from me, ale. <laughs> I start, suddenly started speaking Polish. Yes, this is a new year and new focus, which is not very good as you can see. Um, so we have an owner, we have owner location, locatino, wait, location. Kind of locatino is always kind of fun to say, but let's let's do it properly. And uh, on the update function, we want to get that owner, set actor location, and the actor location will be sort of a lerp, right? So lerp of two vectors, 
the alpha is the value from our curve, uh, interpolated value from curve. Uh, the first uh, A is just owner location and B is uh, if you are moving up, then it's just Z plus 200. This is our endpoint. Wherever that, that cube is, it will just move it up by 200. And this is our update function. Yeah, lovely. Uh, also, we forgot to input time. The time is, of course, elapsed time from that first timer, right? So how, however long it lasts, then it's our time in, in that curve. Uh, unfinished, well, we don't really want to do anything unfinished, we just want to, you know, basically stop this timer, I guess. So let's clear and invalidate this timer whenever the timer finishes. And for our update timer, we also want to select looping because we, we want it to constantly run and this time is however fast it updates. So let's, let's make it 100th of a second. I think it's, it's pretty reasonable. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it, basically. We have our owner location, we interpolate it, we have a curve, we have nice timers. And the last thing we need to do is just to hook it up. So, um, Let's select that component, I mean, that actor, let's add a component. It's our new component, so timeline func. And, I mean, I suppose auto-activate. And let's run it. Okay, it didn't work. I wonder why. Because it's not movable. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, of course, you, you need to make your stuff movable if you want it to move. Let's try again. And yeah, it's it smoothly moves up. Lovely. Uh, so yeah, that's that's uh, timeline in components, ladies and gentlemen. Can we do anything more fun with it? Um, oh, maybe let's also check if it works if I don't auto activate the component. Yes, it also works. So, I, I mean, does it activate by default and this doesn't matter? I suppose, maybe. So, guys, you, you, you don't need to check this. It will work. Uh, and yeah, that's, that, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And uh, do not be afraid to use timelines in your components. That's it from me. Uh, happy coding and see you next time. Bye bye.